Hi and welcome to my soul tribe, my name is Miriam Rose. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe, set your bell on all, like, comment and share as I really appreciate all of your support. Now let's get on with the video. Humanity is awakening right now, in this moment, the only moment there is, eternity, the time without beginning or end, in which creation is constantly ongoing as Mother, Father God, shares and extends her nature, which is infinite love, for the infinite glory of God and all of her divine creation. Every sentient being is forever one with her, as well as being an individuated entity with its own self that reflects back to God's glory, to her in every moment. Truly life, existence, aware, consciousness, love is beyond awesome and this is what you are awakening into. Your nature is love, life and joy and your memory of it, which has never been lost, only mislaid, is about to be fully restored as you let go of your belief in the limitations in which your human forms appear to enfold you. You're all unlimited beings, just like God, your ever-loving Father, but you totally engaged with the game of separation and as a result with the limits that are a major aspect of it. Over the ages, holy ones who have often been described or labeled as mystics are merely ones who have delved deep within themselves and by doing so have become aware of their oneness with Source. Through that awareness they have realized that their inner world at one with Source is the only reality and that the physical ones were. Over the ages, holy ones who have often been described or labeled as mystics are merely ones who have delved deep within themselves and by doing so have become aware of their oneness with Source. Through that awareness they have realized that their inner world at one with Source is the only reality and that the physical world within is in fact unreal. It is but an individual and very personal appraisal of what the person's mind believes that it perceives in the physical environment seemingly outside itself. You can only find the truth within yourselves if you will take regular quiet time alone, inviting God to fill your hearts with love. She is with you in every moment, and when you choose not to pay attention to the distractions with which your egos are constantly presenting you, and listen instead to the quiet voice of God within you, you will feel her love and therefore know that you and she are eternally inseparable, that she is the one in whom you exist in eternity oneness. For eons, due to the brilliant construction you built in which to experience the unreality of separation, many have convinced themselves that there is a being, a god or idol to whom they need to sacrifice so that he will not judge them too harshly or even destroy them. Thus many bought into the idea that there was an overriding authority figure who watched their every thought, word and action. And then after a while, a small minority chose to presume that they had been chosen by him to have dominion over everyone else. And from that small group have arisen the systems of governmental or religious authority that still exist in the world today. And most children on earth are born into cultures that teach them that they must obey the authorities or face judgment and punishment. Over the last few hundred years, awareness has started to grow that this cannot possibly be true, because wise ones throughout the ages have regularly demonstrated and shared the falseness of disbelief with those who would listen and then mass communication systems were invented. Printing, mail services, telegraph, radio, TV, telecommunications generally and the world wide web making it possible for everyone to learn this truth. And as a result of coming to an awareness of this increasing numbers of people have chosen to honor their own personal sovereignty instead of continuing to align with the long enforced systems of authoritarian control. By doing so, they have been able to eradicate the ingrained and false beliefs within themselves that they were trained as children to accept and respect. This was a necessary step for humanity to take on its path back to awakening and once taken collectively, as has happened, there can be no regression. This is why there has recently been, over the last several decades, such an intense acceleration in the growth of civil rights for all, no matter what their cultural, religious or political persuasions may be. 
It is the realization that very fact of being born gives every individual an inalienable right to be and express herself in whatever fashion she may choose, as long as she does not cause physical harm to someone else, which may not and must not be overridden by anyone. So I repeat, you are all divine beings, created in love as eternal and individuated aspects of the One God, Mother, Father, God, Source, Love, or whatever label you choose to address the One, and separation from your Source is utterly impossible. Nevertheless, as humans in form, you do experience yourselves as individual separated beings and therefore believe yourselves to be susceptible to attack, sickness, injury and passing. And of course your human forms can and do encourage exposure to various dangers and because nothing in form can avoid aging, decay and passing, the passing of your human forms is inevitable. Those who are watching this message are aware that they were created by an infinitely wise and loving being, Mother, Father, God, and trust that she will never cease loving them or terminate their existence. However, many still believe that after their physical passing that they will be subject to divine judgment and possibly some form of punishment may then be imposed. This is most definitely not the case, as has been explained to you very frequently. God is love, and love is always totally without conditions of any kind. She just is. Therefore, when you lay down your physical forms, a most glorious and wondrous welcome awaits you, and you will find yourselves embraced by and fully enveloped in the love that you and God are in every moment of your eternal, unbroken and boundless existence. Yes, at that moment you will experience an entire unabridged review of your human life and that has just closed, and every thought, word or action in which you have engaged will unfold a bit like a movie in front of you. However, you will experience absolutely no sense of guilt or shame. Mostly you will be amazed when you see the enormous amount of good that you accomplished during that life and how your loving presence, even though you were unaware of it and received no feedback, uplifted and inspired so many others. Your return from a temporary life in form will unveil for you what was hidden during that time. The complete and full awareness of your unbroken and uninterrupted eternal existence in the presence of Mother Father God. Expect to be overjoyed and know that what you are going to experience will totally and most gloriously exceed any expectations for which you may be hoping. Your loving brother Jesus. I hope you enjoyed this channeling and if you're interested in celebrity news then please visit my other channel called Miriam Rose. With absolute gratitude, love and light, cosmic kisses to everyone. Till next time, bye for now.